Greetings from south of the DMZ. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on my Cavendish experiment. Again, I apologize for the sound. I'm still slowly getting over the crud from my travels last week. I'm nowhere near finished, but this will give kind of an overview of the changes that I've made and the plans that I have. First major thing is that I moved the experiment off the floor and onto a table. Somebody had made a comment that if there is a light there, more than likely about six inches below the floor, there's another light down there. And if it possibly has any type of electromagnetic field, I want to make sure that we get away from it. So first step is that I moved up off the floor. Somebody else had made a comment about windows and sunlight. So once I get to the point of the experiment where I will actually be doing test runs, I will be covering up the windows in some form to try and prevent any circulation being generated due to heat or solar input from the sun. I have some plexiglass on the way. Amazon was actually able to ship it to me last time I tried. They said no, but right now I've got four pieces of plexiglass that are going to be about a foot tall. And right now it's just going to be a box around and that will be to start with eventually I will also put a cover on it though. I've got a lazy Susan here that is going to be replaced because this was absolutely crap. I pulled it out of the box and it broke. For right now I'm kind of tinkering with it using it just to test but ultimately I've got a wooden one that I think is going to work a lot better. I've got my stepper motor and the intent there is going to be hooking it up to an Arduino that will also be hooked up into the USB line so that I can control it from my computer. And that way I can precisely say what position the weights are at. So that I can move them into position, measure the distance from the weights when I put them in place. And then I also plan to be able to move the experiment the other direction so that we can test both sides. I'm on my third iteration of suspension. The original line that I used was twine. I wasn't really thinking ahead on that one. And as soon as the twine was hooked up, it started to unwind. And it unwound and unwound and unwound. And about an hour later, while I was sitting on my couch, I heard a thump. If you didn't know, twine that has been unwound has absolutely no strength. So then I moved on to paracord. I've still got some over here. Moved on to paracord. That was decent, but not sure it was the best route to go. After that, I moved it on to the guts of paracord. There's a dozen or so individual strands inside there. So I used one strand and that did suspend it. But the goal of that suspension line is to have actual tension because it does need to keep it in place a little bit without holding it there. And the paracord gut had absolutely no tension. It, this sat for two days straight and did not stop moving. So the paracord didn't hold anything. I don't know if I'm going to go back to that at any point for testing, but I don't think that's going to work. Right now, I've got kind of a bailing wire that is much stronger. It should hold it in place pretty well. Um, I've got to do some experiments to try and identify what the tension on it is to see what its tension index is so I know how far or how much it's holding it from spinning. Once I get a little bit closer to actually making runs, I'm probably going to try and mount a mirror onto the pivot point. As I've seen a lot of experimenters, what they do is they, they'll shine a laser on the mirror so that rather than trying to measure the small amount of diffraction that the bar itself is doing, if you reflect uh, uh, a laser and project it on the far wall, you'll be able to see the dot going back and forth. I'll probably project that onto the wall, onto a piece of paper that has hash marks on it so it can be evaluated for distance. And then I'll also have all of the information about the bar itself so that we can do the calculations for how much that angular difference is. 
One other thing that I hadn't thought about until today is I don't think that my pivot point is actually at the center of the bar. I think I'm a little bit to the right and that would indicate that this side's a little heavier than that side. This bar is probably going to get cut shorter again because when the weights are in place, for one thing, I need to be able to have the heavy weights inside the plexiglass box, but I want them centered on each other for the pull. So this is going to have to go in, which would mean that would have to go in. Once I find that final length tip to tip, I'm going to mark the center point hang it from that point and I might have to do a little adjusting on the weights to keep it balanced on the center. The rest of this video is a demonstration of what the final product could be. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to be, whether I'm going to get more webcams. Uh, if I do the laser pointer, I'm going to need another camera pointing at that. Whether I want everything on one screen at one time, I'm not sure if I want to like rotate and kind of scroll through the different camera angles. Uh, this run itself didn't prove anything. It did not have the, the rigor that I'm looking for in the end product, but it just gives you an idea of what it would look like. And once I get to that point and it is time for a full run, my intent is to do a live stream of from the beginning before the weights go into place so you can see if there is any oscillation prior to the weights getting put into place through movement of the weights probably back out to center again and then movement uh, of the waist to the other side. Uh, but that is definitely months down the road as I tinker and try and get everything else situated for a very good test. So. I want to say thank you to everybody who has provided suggestions and ideas of how to, to tweak this and again make it more valid as a test for this particular experiment. Please keep the ideas coming. Uh, no idea is too big, no idea is too small. So until Thursday, stay safe, and as always, stay flat.